Hey everybody, I'm Frenzy the Killbot, and I'm back with a new game. Another Bond game, in fact. This is Quantum of Solace. It's one of the newest Bond video games, based off of the two most recent movies, Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace. So one interesting thing right off the start is there's no title sequence or main menu the first time you boot up the game. It asks you to uh, modify the brightness, and pick a difficulty, and it's going to throw you right into the level. Uh, the title sequence actually is merged with the level's ending cutscene in a very Bond fashion. Let's get started. Hello? Mr. White? Yes, who's this? The name is Bond. James Bond. We need to talk. Care to reconsider, Mr. Bond? Kill him! Tell him what you see. There's a gate at the bottom of the garden. You can use it to circle around and get back to the house. So right off the bat, we're thrown into the thick of it. Most games at least give you a little time to get used to the controls before you get a combat sequence. We start off, of course, with our Walther P99, Bond's weapon of choice, and we'll have this in almost every level in the game. The uh, inventory system actually allows you to carry this gun and two others. This game is based off of the Call of Duty 4 engine, so we actually get aim down the sight mode, hit indicators, and uh, refilling health. Let's grab a new weapon right here, the SAF-45. It's a submachine gun we're going to be seeing throughout most of the game. It's pretty good. This game also includes a cover mechanic, which allows you to take cover, similar to the one in uh, Perfect Dark Zero. You see the gate, 007. Hack the lock and head towards the boathouse. Another mechanic we'll be seeing a fair bit of is the hacking mechanic, wherein we use our smartphone to unlock doors. And we do this by choosing the right direction when it shows up green. Later in the game they will get harder and there will be uh, false pop-ups which show up as red and you're not supposed to pick them. Another new gun, the CR-1911. Uh, it's pretty obvious what this gun's based off of. It's a decent pistol but its magazine size is very small compared to the P99 and honestly I don't like it as much. This game also has brutal melee takedowns, where you need to do a uh, quick time event in order to make them work. It's just me now! Get 
some backup. I'm really not sure how else that guy expected that to go. Somewhere in that boathouse, there's a live feed box. Find it, and we'll be able to see the entire estate. Many levels have security cameras, and some of them allow you to hack into the uh, cameras so you can see and use them to figure out where people or objectives are. I'm patched in. Good job, 007. I'm seeing it as well. I suggest you cut through the greenhouses and enter White's Villa through the cellar. I'm on my way now. So here we get a couple exterior views and one from inside the house. We're supposed to head through the greenhouses, so let's move on. Over here! He's headed this way! Stupid helicopter. Many levels will also have intel in the form of cell phones, which you can pick up to give you sort of helpful information or just backstory. So this one is something about Venice. That's a picture of Vesper and uh, the money in a briefcase. It's a callback to Casino Royale. Now, this game is called Quantum of Solace, and anybody who's seen the movies recognizes sort of where we are and what we're doing. But even if you count this level as part of Quantum of Solace, despite the fact that the movie actually starts where this level ends, there are only five levels based off of Quantum of Solace in this game. The remaining ten levels are actually based off of Casino Royale. It's sort of a weird thing about this game, but I guess it's just that Casino Royale lends itself better to video game levels than Quantum does. That's the greenhouses dealt with. Now we just have to move up inside the house. I'm heading towards the house. Let me know when you're inside. You've got some time to find our missing money, but not much. We need Mr. White delivered to Siena as soon as possible. This guy up here we actually caught a glimpse of back on the uh, security cameras. We need to take him out before we can move on. Nice. Before we do move on, uh, there's another cell phone out here on one of these uh, patio tables. There we are. McCabe, this is Mr. White. I've returned from Venice and I will be needing your services later this afternoon. I want the helicopter fueled and on the landing pad at 1400 hours. We'll receive instructions on our destination at that time. Hmm. Not particularly useful information, but uh, I guess that explains why the helicopter's here. This guy helpfully opened our way to the cellars, where we're going to find another phone. I'm inside. White's briefcase should be in his wall safe somewhere upstairs. Check your phone. I believe we caught a glimpse of the safe on camera three. So here's a text message about Mr. White's shotgun apparently being stored in the cellar. Should probably keep our eyes open for that. And let's see, camera three. That's an uh, empty hallway. More empty hallway. And just in the left corner, you can see the safe. That's where we're headed. There was a firefight in the greenhouse. That 
was our last contact. He's in the cellar. One of the patrol guards just radioed in. Seal the outside doors. Let's go. So much for the element of surprise. These guys already know we're here. You may have noticed over here this yellow case. Most levels have a secret weapon in one of these yellow cases, and in this level, it's the Hutchinson A3, a combat shotgun, and in fact the shotgun they were talking about in that text message. It's very powerful as long as you hit your target, and will kill almost anybody with one hit, even at medium range. This is going to be very useful in clearing the house. On this table here, we have our last cell phone. Payne, this is White. I got your message. There's no need for concern. I have a safe in my upstairs study. The code is known only by me, and it's protected by a fail-safe security system. Now, Haynes... If you watched, uh, if you've seen the movie, Haynes is sort of a important character who's only touched on in the movie. But that text message sort of gives another connection between him and Mr. White. I really love this shotgun. Although I don't think it actually shows up anywhere else in the game. Oh, I lied. We do have another cell phone. Charlie 3, this is McCabe. I received your message and an inbound coming in hot. Have Mr. White on the landing pad ASAP. Oh. It sounds like they're actually going to try and extract Mr. White using the helicopter. We gotta hurry. If you haven't found the safe, try upstairs. They actually do tell you right there that the safe is upstairs but I kind of like taking a quick peek in every room of the house just in case. Nice looking place. Tanner, there's no briefcase. The safe is empty. Damn it. Treasury won't like that. Anybody else see that button prompt? But I've found something better. Then $150 million. What have you laid your hands on? The organization's computer files. So we find Mr. White's secret computer room. And there's a bunch of post-its on the wall. Uh, something about a meeting. Dock shipment. And there's actually a post-it with Mr. Haynes and a phone number on it. Which is another connection, of course, to the Haynes character who we'll hear about later. Let's download all these files. I'm downloading them now. Oh, wake up, a whole place rigged. The bombs everywhere. Get out. Okay, so that didn't go very well. One of the other things that uh, the Call of Duty 4 engine is good at is sort of shaky cam and cinematic first-person experiences, I guess is probably a good way to put it. So this part, we just need to, ex we need to escape from the exploding house. And periodically, guys will show up and try and kill us anyways. This is the helipad just up here. We just need to stop it from taking off. Here we go.
I think we should go somewhere a little more quiet. Thanks for watching guys.